Well, this is weird. This is kind of strange. I forgot the title of this damn thing. Because all the shit I was going through to get it ready. Yeah. People. People are very funny. I noticed um, over the last couple of days on this YouTube. I don't know if it's because of the homosexual pornographic bullshit. I don't know what it is. But I'm getting a weird feeling from some of the people. Um, and it's, 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 it's like being left out to drive by yourself. This is one of those feels like. Wasn't we on a different course? Were things supposed to be changing for the better? Is this it? Is uh, what's going on? What's really happening? People are funny. So let me hurry up and get to this. So a few weeks ago, a few months ago, things were different. Things were different. There was a group of people where, I don't know, there was a, a communication between a certain group of people. You'd always bump into their videos and shit like that. I don't, I don't bump into their videos anymore. So somebody sends me a page called Ignorant Nubian or some shit. And they got Wise Nubian. And they're over, you know, they're talking over his video. Completely disrespecting this man. I said to myself, fuck, does he know about this? I think I tried to send it to him. I don't know. But yesterday, or the day before yesterday, I sent him something. You know. And this is what's funny. Wise Nubian tells me that the language I use, blah, blah, blah. And it, it shocked the hell out of me. Wise Nubian is telling me that I'm speaking fucked up. I like a, I don't know, a couple times Wise Nubian. Wise Nubian don't like the homosexual situations. And I don't blame him. So, you know, I'm going to leave it at that. But for him to think that the language I use is sort of beneath me. Um, speaking European, I've heard him cuss out young black women on the J. Riders talk show, cussing all kind of names, no different than the names I use. But no, I'm not just talking about wise movie. So I get on YouTube and I do my thing, and I, I put my videos up. You know, I comment on people's videos, and I go back. It's like people just want to stay away from me. None of my videos are linked to the people where I, you know, I comment on their videos. I'm like, okay, that's these other people's opinions or whatever. You know, fine. But then I think a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, this and that, it was different. So what's different now? Hmm? Is it Obama? Y'all too good to hang with a nigga that be cussing? Ooh. But understand this, I am not a nigga. I'm a man. I'm a human being. I saw a series of videos sent to me by the great Grady Green. I love this girl. She's, she's cool. She, she sends me knowledge. And I'm watching this black man talk about how our whole purpose was to serve. And how we've been taught not to serve ourselves. And today, I actually wake up with a new attitude after watching these videos. And I say to myself, when these brothers and sisters have beef, and I comment on their beef, and I try to say something positive, you know, it's weird. I get some beef with some dude, and... The only people to come to my side are white people. 
And sometimes when you go through these things like this, these 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 moments to where what is happening hits you. You reprioritize the way you think. Those videos that Miss Green sent me were very powerful. Regardless if you understood what the videos were about or not, it shows the cycle and why. That actually showed me why I think this way. Because I think like that man, but I act like what the man says we shouldn't act like. And it's weird. Black people themselves are a walking contradiction. You know, we all want to do great. But when it's time to help out me or somebody else, it's like, oh, well, fuck him. But that's okay. Because when I was getting all this drama and this beef, you can look. It shows for yourself. I would stand up for every single person on YouTube, no matter what color they are, no matter who they are. I would say right and wrong, wrong and right, whatever. I have made mistakes. I have once made a video where someone called me less than a man, put me down, disrespected me, and called me a pedophile. But you have to explain yourself. You don't come off half cocked after a couple of beers and say, Oh, it was okay. <laughs> that was in the beginning. So, you say, hmm, who have I been dealing with on YouTube? Who have I talked to? Who have I befriended? Who have I trusted? Who have I cared about on YouTube? I cared about all the people. Oh, yeah. There is one black person on YouTube that would be there for me if I call him. Matter of fact, there's two. But I didn't ask these guys for no help. But there's two of them who will be there any time to do any kind of video I would ask them to do. They gave me good advice. But I'm just a stubborn old bastard who don't give a fuck no more. But sometimes you can't be the person to bend. We have been bending to accommodate other people throughout fucking history and whenever it's time for somebody to stand up he should never stand by himself and who was there white people I can call their names off right now but they know who they were they know they stood up for me how many black folks did you see stand up for me when the partner attacked me start attacking the people that watch my videos. How many people stuck their head in front of me? There was this one dude, I was scared of him because he was radical. His views were outrageous, but I could understand where he was coming from. The very first person to stand up he was. Then um, a few weeks ago, I never forget if, if maybe months ago when he first started interacting with me because you have to sit back and watch these people I'm like this kid is radical as hell but I understand it so I made him a friend just recently he was the first one to stand up a white kid then more white people started backing me up they didn't have to do that they didn't have to come defend me some brother who's just speaking his perspective. But out of all of that, I got words of advice from brothers and sisters. And not too many of them at that. Then I do a video, send it to <laughs> Wise Newbie. And he tells me that I'm acting like a European. So, makes you think. When I was a little kid, nothing but white friends. I don't know why. As an adult, mostly white friends. Don't know why. I know one thing. Y'all been too 